What is going on YouTube and welcome to day number seven of 100 days to master Python or Python mastery, however you want to say it. Um, day number seven, uh, this is our last day of one for one. So, so far, the first week of this has been each day, it's pretty much one coding example. And then the next day you're building on the one from the current day and the day before and so on. And each day it was building up by one. This is the last day of that. Starting with day eight, we're going to be going to multiple examples of coding within each particular uh, Python file. So let's jump right into it. I got the debugger ready to roll. And ah, run debug. All right. Nope, get away from there. Sweet. Why are we not? If I do this. That is why. So I almost confused myself for a second because I'm so used to utilizing uh, how we do that. So I'm good. Uh, what I wanted to show you is why that looked like it wasn't working. So I put my debugger on. I, I marked the line. I hit debug. I'm hitting console and I'm F8ing through and it's not going anywhere. It's a blank line. There's nothing here, right? And if I run the program down below, it's showing me nothing, but I am getting my uh, cursor blinking. That's because I've, I've created a variable input for system. And I'm asking for input and open input, but I didn't put anything in here. Like I didn't put, um, you know, type input here. Now if I did that and I run the software, now it's going to say type input here. Um, and conversely, if I go through debug it, it's going to say on the right hand side, type input here. Um, but I didn't have that at first, so it was showing up as an empty line. Which, I mean, hey, it's good practice. Got to learn this stuff. So if I F8 through this, it's giving me a blank line. Uh, take two digits, X and Y, as inputs and generate a two-dimensional array. So we want to give it two, di two digits. So let's say we give it um, three and four and hit enter. Let's see if it takes it. Okay, so it took digits three and four. So now uh, we're on the next line, dimension. The dimension is, in this example, we want to create a two-dimensional array, but the dimension is going to be an integer of x, 4x, in, in this, in this case, 3, 4, and it's being split by a comma. So this is kind of, it's going to be like an iteration going through it all because we're creating dimensional rows, f8 through. So we have dimension class of the list. We have 3, 4, nothing special there. Now we have row in and column in. Those are the variables are created, and it has dimension zero, dimension one. Now this is going to be, think of it as, um, think of it as, as indexing. So for the row, I want it to be first, so it's going to be zero, and the column I want it to be one. So I'm going to F8 through, so it's going to be, take the value of three. And what do you think column is going to take? Since it's the first index of the list, it's going to take of the list uh, dimension. It's going to take the variable four. So now I have a new variable called list, and in that list I am saying zero for column in range, column in. So the value of column in right now is four. So that's in a range of four. So how many columns do you think we're gonna end up having when we run this? Four. Four rows in range row in, and row in has a value of three. So you could read this as zero for, so zero is more of like a starting point. Zero for column in range four, four rows in range three. So when we run this, we're going, it's going to actually generate, let me make this a little bit bigger, an empty list that has one, two, three, essentially three rows. Right now they're going horizontal, but you can imagine this is row one, row two, and row three. Or if we were indexing, if I called row zero, I would get these four inputs. If I call row one, I would get these four inputs. And if I called row two, I would get these four inputs within that list. And there are how many columns did we have? Look over here, column four. So we have one, two, three, four columns. Uh, when we get to machine learning, that would be features. So let's bring this back. Actually, I want to keep it like that just for a moment. And you'll see why. Now what I'm doing is we're going to actually go through our function because the whole point of this was to take two of the inputs. We have three and four and generate a two dimensional array. Um, so now we have four row in range row in. So row in is three, so four row, and again, that row could have been anything, could have been four, 
Twinkies in range, and the range is three. We're starting at zero, because I called it three. We're going to start at zero, one, and two, up to not including. For column in range, column, column is four, so it's going to be one more, so to four, so it's going to go zero, one, two, three. So it's going to utilize four inputs, because again, that's zero, zero, one, two, three. We're not including four, but we're getting four columns as outputs. Um, and then I'm telling it to make a list, and that list is going to is going to have an order of row column, and it's going to equal the value of row times the value of column. Now this is going to do this for each individual row column. So it's going to go row one, column index zero one two three, row index one, or essentially the second row, column index zero one two three, and then row three or index of two because we're starting at zero column zero one two three and it's going to be doing that math of row times column in order to give the inputs the array that we're generating so we're going to do a lot of iterations here is the point so i'm going to f8 doop. so now we're starting at row zero column zero so that would be right over here row of index of zero is the first one column index of zero is here and now we're switching to column one because it did zero times zero is zero. One times zero, we're here, is zero. Two times zero is zero. And index of three position times zero is zero. So we satisfied row index zero, column zero through a range of four, which is an index of zero, one, two, three, four. So all of these are zero because zero times any number is going to be zero. So we've satisfied that. So now we're not going to get a true anymore. Now we're going to get a false. So it's going to have to go up into the first line of code and go to row index one, which is our second row here. All right. So now we're on row index of one, which is our second row. And we're at column index of zero, which you're going to see this is going to reset now to zero. Column index of zero. So now we're going to be doing zero times one. So in our second row index of one, this row is going to be giving me zero. And sure enough, it did. And now it's going to go row one, column one, because we're staying in the row because we still have four columns to go through, right? But here's now it's going to change. Now I'm in row index of one, column index of one, which is not here, but here. So watch this one. Doing a math of one times one, I'm going to get, boop, one. Um, and now we're going to hit again. It's going to go to the index position of two. Remember, zero, one, two. Two times one. So right here, we're going to get, boop, two. And then, sweet enough, we get three. And now we have enough space to see um, our corresponding side here, our, our third row, or which has an index of two. Now I'm going to hit, and we're going to go row number two, because we've satisfied all four columns within index of one or the second row. Now we're going to go row number two, which means index of two, which is really the third row, because remember, everything starts with zero in Python. Columns right now says three, but we have to. St we just started row two or row three, rather, index of two. You guys are going to hate me for that shit, I know. Um, so it's going to reset to zero, as you can see. So now list is going to be, the list is utilizing inputs of row column, which we have row of two, column of zero. And the math we're applying to that is two times zero. So in my third row here, this is going to be zero, because two times zero is zero. And then it's going to go column number one. One times two is two. And then two times two is four. And then what do you think we're going to get here? If you said six, you are a smart cookie. If you said anything else, I want you to go back to basic arithmetic. Now we've satisfied everything. So now we've done row z index of zero, row index of one, row index of two. We've done column index of zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three in each row. And we did it element by element going through this row times column. So now this whole for loop is satisfied. So when I F8 it, I'm only left with one more execution in this file, which is to print the list. And now I can, you can see also as a side note, it's taken out of memory. When I executed that function of print list, all of my holdings in memory are gone because it actually executed. So if we have to hold different pieces in memory, we can. Um, but this particular software wasn't calling for those variables again. So it knew to, it knew to, squash it out. So all of that work just to end up with uh, a multidimensional array utilizing just two digits that we got three and four. Um, and if you tried to give it a, a, that's our two dimensions, dimension of three and four, that's how we have a two dimensional array. The array is the three rows that we have. 
Um, so if I wanted a three dimensional, then I'd have to go in here and change my coding because right now I'm just doing uh, row times column, which is the, the two dimensional aspects. We'd have to add a third dimensional piece in there. But we have our inputs of three comma four and then we're given our dimensional rows. And just for fun, let's go uh, and let me put in, let's do a 12 and 144 and I'm going to enter through it and I'm going to get, I did that on purpose, 12 rows. So index 0, 1, 2. So 12 of the closed bracket list, 12 rows. So it would be on this, it's going to go uh, horizontal, meaning to 1, 2, 3, 4. And if it was like, think of like um, an Excel, which in data science, we don't like Excel. But if it was like Excel, it'd be row one, two, three, four going vertical. And we could do, we'll do transposing later, transposing of arrays um, later on. But this is going to have 144 elements in each row. And the first one's going to be all zeros because they're all going to be, it's index row zero. So when I get to number one times zero, two, zero, 122, zero, 144, zero, all going to be zero. So... I don't know how big people's screen is. Maybe I went too crazy. Did I go too crazy on that? I'm sorry. So I'll do two and 12. So I'm only gonna have two rows, but 12, all of those times, any of those numbers times zero, zero. And then our individual uh, element pieces times their corresponding row, column, math, is gonna give me that math going up. These are all gonna be times twos. That's why we see them um, in that particular math format. So it's going to be, this is index of one. So it's all the numbers times one, sorry, not two, because it's an index of one. So it's gonna be column one, one, column two times one, column three times one, column four times one, just because of the math that we're utilizing. Um, so as you, that's how you could create uh, two dimensional, using two inputs, and that's our two dimensions, two and 12, um, mathematically creating an array using Python. Play with the code, don't forget, this is the last day where we only have one piece of code for, um, uh, for the day, and then it's going to be going into multiple examples um, in each particular day. So it's going to go, it's going to go crazy fast starting tomorrow. So enjoy this day, and I will talk to you all.